I will be studying a Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery at James Cook University in Townsville. I will be studying at the University of Queensland. Um, I have gained provisional entry into medicine and for my undergraduate I'll be studying a Bachelor of Computer Science, majoring in Data Science. A Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Law at UQ. Bachelor of Business, majoring in Accounting at QUT. A dual degree in the Bachelor of Engineering Honours and Bachelor of Computer Science at the University of Queensland. A Bachelor of International Design, majoring in Industrial Design at QUT. I'm going to be going to Central Queensland University and studying a Bachelor of Chiropractic Science. A Bachelor of Fine Arts Acting at QUT. A Bachelor of Journalism and Communications at the University of Queensland. A Bachelor of Psychological Science at the University of Queensland. I'll be studying Radiography and Medical Imaging at Monash University. A Bachelor of Biomedical Science with provisional entry to the Doctor of Medicine uh, at UQ. A Bachelor of Biomedical Sciences at Griffith University. University on the Gold Coast. My approach to senior studies was really just to kind of stay calm and maintain a good work-life balance. My approach to my senior studies was kind of looking at the end goal um, and what I wanted to achieve. To go into every exam knowing that I had done everything I could and I had tried my best. I found it really helpful to have study books where I summarised the contents in my own words. My approach to my senior studies was to study hard and know that no matter the outcome, I did my absolute best. A major study method of mine is to have these admin days. What I would do is I would gather all the resources I needed, whether that be flashcards, notes I had to rewrite, or practice exams I wanted to take. And then I would distribute these days throughout like maybe a week. Challenges are inevitably going to come during exam periods but um, I just tried to put boundaries with myself and really tried to give myself the space. My strategy was just to take breaks when I needed them, um, just listen to my mind and my body during study periods and also just keep relaxed and make sure I'm doing my extracurricular activities. I definitely took on a positive attitude towards my exams and doing my best in the given time. At the start of every assessment period of the four in grade 12, I'd always set goals of what I wanted to achieve for each subject, and that kind of really kept me on track. And then another one that I found really helpful was studying with friends at the library. Teaching my friends and helping them understand the content. I would have quizzes that I would make for myself, and there were also a few um, St Aidan's graduates in the year above that would also have their resources that would be very helpful to use as well. I found study books really helpful especially with subjects where there's a lot of things to memorise and it definitely helped me with not just my understanding but for exam revisions as well. The most useful study technique for me would be active recall through the form of flashcards. Handing in my study book was a technique I found really helpful for my math subjects and also making sure I checked in with my teacher. The memories for sure, for the past seven years being a part of this community, it's been absolutely wonderful. It's been such a joy and pleasure to be a part of the school. I think what really stood out to me as a high school, St Aidan's offered this really small community which I felt really proud to tell other students from other schools that I knew everybody here. The fact that anybody can, can do anything and if everyone is a genius in their own way and until you open your mind to that thought, then you're just going to miss out on the most beautiful things in life. Probably problem solving skills. I think that um, particularly in my digital solutions class, like it really taught me how to problem solve and how to um, perfect things to the best of my ability. And then the processes that I learned in that class kind of got transferred into every other one of my subjects. Their community and culture, which is very, very welcoming and very supportive, um, not just academically, but in other areas as well. The most important thing I'll be taking away from my time at St Aidan's is the importance of having a good community surrounding you. Getting an ATAR that let me get into my course and really set me up for options next year, whilst also having a really fun year and keeping up sport and working throughout the year. 
An achievement in my schooling that I'm proud of is probably my English grades because I worked very hard to get them up. The Australian Institute of Physics Award that I received towards the end of grade 12. I think my greatest achievement was leaving school with absolutely no regrets. Just the growth I've had over my high school years definitely was definitely my biggest achievement. Having a really fun and successful tennis season. It's definitely my first academic award in grade nine. When I got prefect, I was really happy because that's a role I really enjoyed. On the academic side, I had my teachers who were there always ready to answer questions and to provide me with extra resources when I was annoyingly badgering them for extra practice exams or things like that. Um, additionally, I think for me and for everyone out there, it's really important to acknowledge our parents. My biggest supporters in my academic studies would be my family and my teachers. My teachers, for sure, um, in going to class, they would always tell us um, what we needed to do and what steps we needed to take in order to achieve our particular goals. My family were very big in supporting me and also my friends and my teachers. Of course, my parents, my friends, my teachers. I was very blessed with a beautiful school community to come to every day. My advice to younger students will be to get involved in everything that Sedanus has to offer. Is don't be afraid to overachieve. I believe setting yourself up to those higher goals and higher standards will really push yourself to um, give in your best. Use your teachers, they're there to help you. Pace yourselves and really make sure that you're focusing also on yourself as well as your academics. So my advice to younger students would be to do things that you actually like. So subjects wise, don't let other people, you know, persuade you to do other things and don't follow just what your friends are doing. Do something that you actually enjoy because um, you'll find that you're more motivated to study and prepare for the subjects that you actually like. At, at the end of the day, grades, whilst they seem really big in high school, aren't going to define you. And so just making sure you make the most of your high school experience without getting too burdened by the academics and the workload and things like that. My message is to make sure you are very diligent with your studies, but also listen to yourself. If you're needing a break, go and play your sport or watch an episode of your favourite show. Just look after yourself. <laughs>